Hi, I'm Dean Argent, a university qualified mechanical engineer. I'm a licensed motor dealer and the owner of used vehicle sales. Big scary rotwheeler.com.au. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of the dog and this car that I've got for sale right here. It's a cheap and cheerful automatic uh, Nissan Pulsar. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you the story. Here's what happened. So they bought it in and traded it in on a um, BMW X5. Big step up, I know, but the car itself. It's a bit rough around the edges, I'm going to show you all that in the video, but it in, was in too good a mechanical condition to turf it out. So I thought, well make it cheap, someone who doesn't give a shit how nasty it looks around the outside, it's the right car for you. If you want a prim and proper car, choose another one in the yard. This one here was just too good. It's cheap, cheerful, mechanically spot on, automatic. It's going to be good for someone like a uni student or run it to and from work or something like that. So first thing I want to tell you is it does have hail dents in the bonnet, if you look close you can see them. Uh, doesn't affect anything mechanically, all that's good as I said. It's got a free scratch on the bumper, it's got a alloy wheels, but as we go around I'll show you all the shit that's wrong with it. Like see how the paint's sort of starting to, just the clear coat's coming off? Just not a big deal, but um, inside here got the strong arm window winders for pumping your guns as you're driving along. It um, just starts first go like that. Wait for all those lights to pop out. There we go. If I shut the door and let the handbrake off, all those other ones that go out, so everything's good there. The, um, the fan's all working, the aircon's cold, radio doesn't, so all you have to sing. <laughs> we'll get another radio put in it. Um, it's got a glove box, but the seats aren't torn or anything like that. They're in pretty good shape, just a little bit grotty, but I suppose you could clean them up. Like I said, mechanically, this car was spot on, too good to turf it out. And uh, often with the cheaper ones like this, we turf them out, but it was, it just was in too good a shape mechanically. So you can see around the body, there's a few little rough bits going on there. It's straight and everything like that. It's just cosmetic, nothing more than cosmetic. It's got a little, okay, after I just finished telling you it's straight, <laughs> there's a little thing under here. Um, and someone's had some tape or something on it on there at one point. But everything's working on it. it does everything it should, except for the radio, that's not working. If it turns out you need a radio fitted to us, we can either get our auto let guy to fit it up for you or something like that. Let us know. And But yeah, there she is. Cheap, cheerful. Whether it's a, a cheap, cheerful one like this or a 30 grand one over there, they all get prepared exactly the same. So mechanically, the thing's spot on. Cosmetically, not so good. And in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you everything that comes with the car for the price you see it advertised for. So when the cars come into the yard, we do six levels of inspection. The first one is we do a road test. We drive it around a very specific test track and we listen for all those noises and stuff that shouldn't be there. Then we do a yard test. And so in the yard test, what we're looking for is that everything works like it should, like the windows go up and down, the fan works, everything in the car is working like it should. And if it's not working, I will have mentioned it in the previous video. Then it goes into mechanical. The mechanic's got a quite an extensive checklist of things that he uh, inspects, things like is the spare tire there and is it fully inflated and all those sorts of things. All that stuff's done and that's what's covered off in mechanical. So that's the third level. On the fourth level, we do a roadworthy inspection. We get an independent mechanic who does his roadworthy inspections on the vehicles. He's licensed by Queensland Transport to come out or do them at his facility. Either way, it doesn't matter, but he does the inspections on them. He gets underneath every single car and he checks all the suspension components and all the things that are required for the roadworthy. So we have a properly done roadworthy certificate by an independent person come out as well. And then on the fifth level of check, we do a quality assurance or a QA run. What happens there is someone who hasn't driven the car and hasn't worked on it, he then goes and drives the car after it's been through mechanical. And he's basically doing a double check like what a buyer would do. They get in it and if there's a noise, they're like, ooh, what's that noise? Or stuff like that. He comes back if there's any of those things then we've identified them through the QA run. And what that does for you is it allows, well from, from my point of view, it allows me to know and stand there quite confidently and know that the car is prepared properly. And then on the sixth level of check, what we do is before the car goes out, um, well so after it's finished the QA, the cars then go out the front of the yard and you would have seen them in the background of the previous part of this video. Um, 
and they sit out there until they go out. Well, before they go out, we do another level, the sixth level of check, where we just check that the wipers are still working, that the uh, little sprayers haven't blocked up, that none of the bulbs haven't stopped working or any of that sort of stuff. So there's the six levels of inspection that we do on each one of the cars. Now, I don't expect you to believe me when I tell you I prepare the cars like that, but as you could tell from the previous video, we are on dirt. I do not have concrete, I don't have flags, I don't have salesmen ready to pounce on you when you come down. In fact, this is me pouncing on you now. So if you're still, hello, you there? Hello, come back so I can pounce on you some more. <laughs> so if you're still there, the reason I'm telling you this is because I don't have all that expensive shit, we don't have the overheads. And it allows me to put the money back into the cars. And that's why but I don't expect you to believe that either. But what you should do is go and have a look at our Facebook reviews and you'll see the vast majority of our buyers are more than delighted with their car because of the work we put into preparing the cars. So with, with that, we have buyers, they come from way up north, like up Cairns, way, way out west. They catch the train down, to, well, they catch the plane to Brisbane, they catch the train to our location here, and then they drive their car off. If they don't, if we don't prepare the cars properly and they fall apart on their way home, they don't get on Facebook and write good reviews. So that's why I'm proud of the level of all of the cars that I prepare. Although I muck around in these videos, what I don't compromise on is the quality and the standard that the cars are prepared to before they leave the yard. And that's reflected in our Facebook reviews. The link is included on this page. So go and have a look and see what the crowd says about working with us. So because of the work we put into the cars, all the prices are fixed. If you turn around and go, hey Dean, are you negotiable? I'd be like, yes, I'm negotiable, but why would you want to pay more? <laughs> so I do that because I seriously, I can't take out what we put into those cars. And frankly, I don't want to. If the cars don't meet the standard or they can't easily be brought up to that standard, I launch them off through an auction. And that's why you shouldn't buy cars from auctions because that's where blokes like me dump our garbage. Okay, so this car has been through all the inspection and is come up properly and is prepared properly. So therefore I have nowhere to move on the price. The prices are already good anyway, otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on and got this video. So the, price, so the prices are all fixed. And the last thing I want to tell you before I tell you what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised is that we need to make appointments to come out. Now we are not your typical yard, like I said before, we can't, we're not equipped for people just to roll up and walk out. You're more than welcome to come and check the cars out and take them for a spin. I've got no trouble with that. But you just need to let us know when you're coming. We've got a couple of guard dogs that roam around here and they, we put those away when people are coming and uh, that way no one gets bit. Everyone's happy. So if you let us know when you're coming, we'll put the dogs away, we'll open up the gates and um, we can show you the car and you can have a look over that and any others that might work for you, whatever you want. So please make an appointment before you come out. So what comes with the car for the price you see it advertised for? Good question and I'm glad that you asked. So firstly, is it comes with either six months Queensland Rego or the Rego that you see like the date. Have a look in the text above, it'll tell you the expiry date or six months, whichever one it is. If you're an interstate buyer, give us a call, we'll tell you how that works for you. We are a large dealer with Queensland Transport. What that means is we have the number plates on site, we have all the paperwork, all the forms, all that stuff, so you don't even need to go into the government department and get sneezed on by all the grubs, we do all that for you. Aren't we good? So all you gotta do is fill out some forms, we stick the paper, the number plates on, we do all the paperwork for you, drive away, nothing else to do, all that's included in the price you see. The next thing is when the cars go through mechanical, one of the things we do is a fresh service. So your vehicle has been freshly serviced and you will not need to do any scheduled maintenance for the next 10,000 Ks or six months, whichever comes first. It's got guaranteed no money owing, guaranteed not stolen, guaranteed never written off. I'll show you all that on the paperwork when you come on down. And it's also got a current roadworthy certificate. So we have the independent inspector. He's got a license from the Queensland government and he's the one who says this car is in a roadworthy condition. So we've brought the car up to that standard as well. So it comes with the roadworthy. So yes, we do trade-ins, and if you need help with your finance, there is a link up the top of this page that says, no deposit finance. He can put your details in there, and our finance guy will come back and he'll give you a quote on exactly how much it will cost you per week to drive away in this fine automobile. Well, I'm Dean, thanks for watching this video. If there's anything I haven't covered, feel free to give us a call, drop us a text, 
or whatever you want to do. We can take payment by cash, by credit card, by internet transfer, bank check, however you want to do it. Best off if we do internet transfer, that one works best for us. Uh, but however you want to do it, it's entirely up to you. Well, I'm Dean, thanks for watching the video. If there's anything I haven't covered, feel free to give us a call, drop us a text, and uh, I look forward to meeting you soon. See ya.